Museum of Modern Art, founded in 1929, their work was already being collected and displayed, and they would be influential on a new generation of American artists, among them Pollock, Rothko, and Motherwell. If we try to summarize the art of those astonishing 40 years at the beginning of the century, then we have to say that above all, it was an art based on optimism, despite war and the rise of fascism, an art based on the freedom of human creativity. And perhaps no work expresses that idea more poetically than this, Miro's Birth of the World, painted in 1925. Its theme is nothing less than the creation of the universe, but expressed through the metaphor of artistic creation, through the very process of painting itself. The great canvas has been washed with thinned paint and then dripped, spattered, rubbed and dragged with rags, and then out of a formless void emerge defined shapes. A bird, perhaps, a person, a shooting star. It is a painting which anticipates much, a precursor of abstract expressionism, which came after World War II. In all these developments we've traced, through cubism, abstraction, surrealism, to the cosmic visions of Malevich and Kandinsky, we are asked to look not to the past, but to the future. As Miro put it, to open a door to a different future, free of all hypocrisy and fanaticism.